So we're continuing our series on heart health. And I know, I've left out what are the symptoms of having a heart attack, what are the symptoms that you might have that you're worried about? Because that's what everybody's worried about, right? You're worried about, oh, are these symptoms that I'm having, or is this feeling that I'm having, is this a heart attack? Okay, and we talked about that women's, women's symptoms are di can be different than men, so it's really important to be able to recognize some of the possible symptoms so that you don't ignore something and let it go on for a long period of time, or God forbid, you go to the emergency room and they misdiagnose you, and then you, you, end, up, you end up back at home. Because I've heard about that happening, and you may have had a family member or even a friend who's gone to the hospital and they've checked them out, and they said, well, we can't find anything, it's probably indigestion, or it's probably just an anxiety attack, and you're like, well, I've never had an anxiety attack before, why am I suddenly getting them now? And it was a heart attack all along, right? So we don't wanna ignore symptoms. All right, so you have to know what are the symptoms, and, and th this is not, it's not limited to, to just these. There's probably some others out there, but these are some of the common ones. First thing you need to know is that women are seven times more likely to be misdiagnosed with a heart, with heart attack than men. So if they come in with a heart attack, seven times more likely that they're going to miss that diagnosis and they're going to think they have some, you have something else. Okay, So you need to be really aware of that. Um, some of the symptoms might include something like dizziness or fainting. Okay, that's completely out of the blue. All right, loss of consciousness. Obviously, if you pass out and you fall down, um, that can indicate that there's not enough blood flow going to your brain or that you've had an irregular heartbeat that's caused not enough blood flow to go to your brain and made you dizzy, made you have a fainting spell or lose consciousness for a period of time. That's pretty serious, okay? So fainting, loss of consciousness, dizziness out of the blue, that just does that doesn't just happen. People don't just get fatigued and pass out all the time, okay? That, that's extremely rare. All right, so that's something that should be taken very, very seriously. It should be, you, you have to eliminate the possibility of heart disease. The problem is all of the technologies that are used to diagnose heart disease in men, whether it's the EKG, whether it's the, the lab tests that they do, and even doing a cath where they inject dye into the blood vessels of the heart, sometimes those can miss heart disease in women because they've all been geared towards figuring out if men have heart disease. And women's patterns of heart disease is very different than men's, so sometimes that can be missed. So you have to have a little bit higher level of suspicion and bring it up if you've got risk factors that you know about or family history. You need to make sure that you point those out to the doctor. And if you've never had anything like this before, you really need to point that out to the doctor. If you've had other symptoms that have led up to it, you need to point, out the, point that out to the doctor. All right, other symptoms. You've all heard about the, the crushing elephant-like, elephant sitting on the chest type pain. Okay, that can happen in women. It's a little bit less common than men, but that can happen, all right? Shortness of breath. If you're short of breath, you're having trouble catching your breath, that's not the normal for you. You're trying to you know, walk down a hallway or climb a set of stairs and that, that you've been able to do regularly without any problem and all of a sudden today, it's causing you to be really short of breath just walking across the room or going up two or three steps. That's not normal. If you've had a change all of a sudden, that's not normal, okay? You need to get that checked out. Um, lower chest pain, okay? Sometimes, you know, we talk about kind of the mid or upper chest pain for, for men. Lower chest pain, upper abdomen pain, those are some, sometimes can be symptoms of a heart attack, okay? So you, you don't wanna ignore that extreme fatigue, all of a sudden you're feeling like you're completely drained, uh, you have no energy whatsoever, and that's not the usual for you. It's not like every day, oh my God, I've been running around all day long, I've, I've gone to the gym, I've gone this, I've done that, and now I'm tired. No, you're just kind of drained of energy and that's not your usual state at that time, okay? Um, nausea, vomiting, those can be symptoms of, uh, if it's, again, out of the blue, there's no, you haven't eaten anything funny, there's nobody else sick around you, you don't have the flu or anything else that's going on, but just all of a sudden you're having nausea and vomiting, that may be a sign that something more is going on. So don't ignore that. Jaw pain, pain radiating up, radiating up into the jaw, that could be a sign, okay? Now again, if you've got you know, problems with your tempo TMJs or other problems, tooth pain, things like that, that have been around for a while, 
th then that's probably what that is. But if you if it's brand new and it's not related to chewing or anything else, it's just pain radiating into the jaw. You might take that seriously. You might need to get checked out. Um, in <clears throat> excuse me, indigestion. Okay, sometimes heart attacks can be misdiagnosed as indigestion. They can't find anything. They do the lab work. <clears throat> they do the EKG and they don't see anything. Again, they're not the typical not the typical findings that men have on lab work. And so when they don't see anything, they try to find other reasons for that discomfort and they may blow it off as indigestion. If the normal indigestion treatments are not working, then you need to think about something else as the cause potentially a heart attack without the typical symptoms, without the typical findings on EKG and lab work, and stomach pain, all right? So as you can see, the symptoms can be extremely different than in men. It's not the typical, you know, chest pain with, you know, pain radiating into the arm um, that that we always see in, in, the t in the movies and TV shows, the guy clutching his chest and, you know, sweating profusely. Okay, oh, that's another one. Sweating, um, cold sweats, things like that, out of the blue. That's an important one. That may be a sign that, that you're having, uh, having a heart attack. Okay, but those typical, you know, crushing chest pain going into the arm that men have is not always seen in women. The lab work, the EKG, don't always show it. So you have to have a high level of suspicion. If you're having those symptoms, you have no other explanation, and you have risk factors for heart disease, make sure they don't let you go home until they've thoroughly eliminated that possibility. Hope this helped um, for you and your family. Like it, share it, and check out silenceyourfatgene.com to look at my new book, Silence Your Fat Gene, for more tips for your health, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.